So the streets have called yet again for another video explaining why women do the things that they do. And today's video, I'm gonna be mostly roasting us niggas, yes, us, for the way we have changed the dating game forever. You see, it was different in the 90s and it's different now in 2020. And now let me explain to you why that's so. And we're back at it again, guys. This time, no flow chart. We have a nice little timeline here explaining what was it like dating in the 90s. First things first, men actually did a much better job approaching women in the 90s. Hey, shorty, shorty, you got IG? Yeah, put on my phone real quick. I right, say less. I'm going to tap in with you later. Hey, hey, sweetheart, you got snap? Fuck you mean no, you ugly, raggedy, dirty ass bitch. Anybody want your Snapchat anyway? I was just trying to be nice to your ugly ass, bro. The fuck out of here. So you got her attention. Now you wanted the date part. In the 90s, it was an event. Niggas be taking girls to the movies and the dinner afterwards and taking them to restaurants and shit. You know, there was lots of chivalry. Cheval... I don't know. Yeah, that stuff was going on. And niggas would walk to the door. Like, walk to a woman's door and knock on that bitch, and she'd come out. Nowadays, in 2020, you don't walk to a girl's door. Are you insane? You're not trying to meet her parents. Hell no. You just text her here, and you park at least four to five houses down the street, just in case her nosy-ass daddy keeps looking out the window. And also, you put no thought into it. You don't even know what you're doing. And what I mean by no thought... Ladies, how many times has a nigga done this to you? You can do whatever, like, what you want to do. Like, I don't care. Like, it's, it's honestly just up to you. I don't be, can't be caring at all. Another thing I forgot to add, at the end of the date, niggas would do a nice send-off message and walk her to the door. <sighs> Ashley, I uh, had a great time with you tonight. I, I, I really appreciate you coming out. And I'd love to see you again, if possible. <laughs> all right. So you text her, you're here. You park down the street. You put no thought into the date. 30 minutes to an hour, you're thinking, how can I fuck, right? So that's what usually happens. On the first date, it's just almost common now that niggas be fucking on the first date. Insane. So after that nice guy drops the shorty off on week two, week three, he comes over, meets the parents. He's dressed to the nines with his khaki pants on, his shirt's tucked in. He brought some flowers for the mom. You know, it's, it's real nice out here. Now, back down to 2020, you know, usually y'all are fucking on and off. And he won't commit to you because he's scared of commitment. Because back in the fifth grade, girl broke his heart during Valentine's Day weekend. So he said, fuck these bitches for life. And we go back up to our 90s chart. Now they're intimate. They're holding hands. They're touchy-feely. They're having the sex. You know what I mean? But week 16, you see the difference from week 3 to week 16? He finally meets the parents. And right around week 20, you start holding hands. You start admitting feelings, possibly. And you see, this is when things start to pick up, around week 20. So this will conclude the TED Talk. I appreciate you guys all coming out. Uh, in conclusion, be patient for week 20. Don't come to week 12 and week 14. You've come so far to, so far to quit. Keep on going to week 20. You got this.